ruled by debt, which has become increasingly difficult for the government to pay. The economic downturn caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has hit the Southern African country hard, so much so that it is on the verge of default. The BBC's Vomale Ukize brings us this report. The smell of freshly laid tar and the sounds of heavy machinery have become a regular feature of Lusaka as the city is transformed through an ambitious infrastructure drive. However, all of this construction has come at a cost. With $12 billion of debt on its books, the country is on the verge of default. Last month, Zambia missed a $42 million euro bond payment and has asked bondholders for a six-month grace period as it tries to get its finances in order. If creditors decline, Zambia will default on its sovereign debt. But how did it get to this point? Where we have gotten here has been an issue where government has wanted to continue to borrow, to manage, uh, to run the economy. You will actually find that even in the current situation where we are, where we have got a very large debt position, government is proposing to borrow another 1.5 billion to run next year's budget. In light of this economic crisis, Zambia's president, Edgar Lungu, remains defiant. <laughs> Ordinary Zambians have welcomed the infrastructure drive. The country has, uh, due to those days, is at Uto, infrastructure like roads, I mean, shopping malls, and many more. So, actually, it has affected me positively. But if uh, the money which is borrowed and it is put to good use to the intended purpose, then I'm happy about that. One of the major concerns for creditors is Zambia's lack of transparency around the debt it owes to China. What's also unclear is how much they've borrowed, as well as the terms and conditions of these loans. It is general speculation that the Chinese have only put their investment in key strategic infrastructure, which is the airport, which is uh, specific roads, which is um, the power utility facilities, and that if we were to default, those assets will, uh, will be uh, collateralized by the Chinese. The China Development Bank has given Zambia some breathing room by providing debt relief for the next six months. However, if euro bond holders call in their debt during a crucial meeting on November 13, Zambia will be the first African country to default during the COVID-19 pandemic. Vumani Mkize, BBC News.